Thank you for joining. Christophe Boulin here, founder of Esper Lux, coming to you from Dubai Watch Week, this beautiful fair organized by Ahmad Siddiqui and Sons and uh, the Ahmad Siddiqui family. Joining me is Recep Recepi of Acrevia and Recep Recepi. How are you, sir? How are you? Good Very to well. see you. Thank you for coming. How's the show going? It's uh, really incredible, to say frankly. Uh, it's my third time now, but uh, every two years it's better and better and uh, really happy to be there. Really, really happy to be there. You know, you have kind of, uh, yeah, you, know, you are close to everybody, you can yeah. speak to everybody, other watchmakers. I see you. I'm a happy guy. All right, good, good. Yeah, at least in my opinion, this might be the best show of the year. So, actually, we don't have that much show anymore, but honestly, it's, uh, it's uh, for me, uh, it's really uh, human in yeah. a way, you know, it's very quite small, but everybody is there, so I would say yes. It's relaxed, you don't feel stressed out. I mean, it's, it's all about passion. Yeah, it's all about passion. For sure. It's all about passion. Sure. Meeting a lot of people that sometimes we don't see and we kind of get to hang out with, so yeah. it's really nice. No, and this is why we should uh, say thank you to Siddiqui family, because I think really no what they're doing, it's incredible. Absolutely, totally agree. Okay. Enough chit chat. Let's talk about some really cool pieces you've come out with in the last year. You've been busy. First, the RR Anti Magnetic. Yes. You know, a long, long time ago, I started to think about this project because, you know, today it's one of the biggest problems that, that we had in, in general, I think, in the industry. We have uh, problems with magnetism. So, this is why we think about this watch, which is uh, anti magnetic. The goal is to protect the movement from the magnetic champ and things like that. So, two things are important on this watch. One was how to make it anti-magnetic, but also how to make it that you can open your watch, you can still appreciate the movement. You know, it's one of the things that we appreciate, we want to share. So this is why we, we make this Faraday cage. But what is interesting here, under the movement, under the dial, you have in plaque yep. all around, you have this Faraday cage yep. and you have the back Wait. also hole protect. So what is interesting that you can open and you can close. So you have a sign here. Okay, you put at the crown, you turn 90 degrees in the right. And the engravings serve as a grip exactly. for your fingers to go on. Exactly. And you can close. Actually, you can open, put it here. It's quite easy to do, awesome. to use it. So totally new movement, hour, minute, central second for the first time. We changed the wheels. The wheels now are in gold and we have uh -huh. the anchor in gold. We changed different steels to make it a little less sensitive for the magnetism. You know, the design is step case. You're seeing also the dial, it's kind of vintage sector dial, but you still have this kind of our language because you have these lines, alternative lines. Yeah. Playing. Also remind you a little the magnetic field source. It's everywhere, you know, because you have on the dial, but you have also on the step hands, you know, for two reasons. Yeah, the, hands, is, the hands are step too, that's yeah. right. One reason it's aesthetic, but also makes sense because you can go more down to the dial, more close to the dial, more readable, and also you can go more down with the glass here That's to right. make it slimmer, right? It's kind of tool watch because you have a big crown, you know, big lugs. Um, I wanted really to have something that is tool watch, you know. T to me, it's like an old school sports watch with finishing oh. on steroids, right? Yeah. That, that's kind of how I look at it. New case. Yeah, uh, entirely new case, entirely new caliber, um, new dial, new dial, new hands. Yeah, yeah, extended, extended long lugs, right? In the same spirit as uh, as Recep uh you know, RRC one, RRC two, but in this case, a little bit more sporty. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Again, it's a tool, so yeah, you know, you want to have something a little more sure. low key. You say, I don't know if you can say low key. Yeah, no. But it's a, it's a really like, I don't know if it's the right word or right sentence, but it's really like to watch, you know. You go there, you wear this, it's anti-magnetic. And you know, you travel, you can wear this watch, no problem. Might be for me, the best hour. Ah, thank right. you. Right. No, but the, the most complex really was this paradigm cage, really. Because you know, you have to, you lose some space, right? So you have really to protect this. So yeah. you put it under the dial, all around this right. paradigm cage. Yeah. And you have the back really for closing this. So it was a, quite a challenge to find it. And to make it slimmer, right? Yeah. So, when can we expect production piece on this? Next year sometime in 2024? Um, 
you know, for the moment I'm just working. I want just to be ready, you know. Uh, we had a few different projects now. We, we're trying to do better. I want just to, to make sure that people are waiting less. So we're trying to, to push and to do our best. But maybe by next year, by next year. That's exciting. From RSCC1, there's been so many developments since that first one in 2018, right? You know, the CC2 coming out two years ago, now the anti-magnetic coming out. Uh, how do you see the evolution of Acrivia and Recep Recepi, you know, over the next five years? You know, it's interesting because uh, like a man, you evolve, you grow. At 25, I remember I had an idea. I said, okay, you want to do your watch. And you don't know anything about how, how it will go, what you have to do, because you're just watchmaker, right? And uh, yeah, today it's a kind of, you know, atelier with few people. And, um, you know, I, I lately, not only lately, but lately I really accept the fact that why I choose to be independent is because I read beautiful stories mm -hmm. uh, about these watchmakers. You know. And these guys did something important that I, I'm still able to read and we're still talking about them. So today my ambition, my focus is really to do something enough important that people will remember, you know, and I hope will remember. I don't know if I will achieve it, but I'm focused, I'm working for that. Okay. So, New construction, new aesthetic, um, new developments, at, new developments at the atelier. Uh, you know, yeah, we're doing straps. We're doing, yeah. you know, we're trying to do every, not everything, but again, you know, it's not the goal to to say, okay, I'm totally independent. It's not that, but you know, just you learn differently the material, right? Yeah. You can learn something. You can be better. I think you have more tools to be better at the end product, right? So yeah. This is what I'm trying to do. So. Shifting focus from Retro Percepi and Acrivia, you've recently did a collaboration that everybody's been talking about with Louis Vuitton. So this is the, I guess, RRLV or you know, the Acrivia uh, that you were telling me about earlier. You can spell it uh, how you want, but you know, I, I think this is the watch that that started. You know, the story is very simple. You know, Jean come with uh, this idea. I say Jean, Jean Arnaud. Jean Arnaud, yeah. And, uh, you know, this product exists because uh, I think it's just between two men, passionate men. Mm. And uh, he came with the idea that what he wants to do for this watch price. And he wanted doing some collaboration with uh, some watchmakers. And, uh, you know, I found this guy is passionate and uh, why not, you know, why not? And I'm happy to do it. Uh, I'm happy to try to do something, uh, I hope, enough important. So here is a chronograph turbion uh, with Sunri. Uh, every minute, you know, when you launch your chronograph, every minute will remind you that you have a, a minute past. You minutes know. past, you know. Smoked sapphire dial, a jeweled mark, jeweled indices. Uh, we call Picajo. You have it's enamel. It's enamel. Picajo. You know, we wanted to show what is important at the end when you wear your watch is to read in the time. Yeah. And, uh, but you can see that you have still some complication there because you can see in the column wheel, you can see in the hammer. And, you know, we want to do something simple, but just to show you that you have something and you don't understand, but you have a pressure here. So I wanted to put something on the back. And which is a more accurate. Again, yeah, and using way. again, like, like a tool, right? So, so it's a little more simple, you know, white, Remind you again something. Graph enamel also. Graph enamel, but remind you also, I don't know if you're seeing some of the watches Louis Vuitton, but I think you, the goal was really to try to have like something that is close to Louis Vuitton, but also has kind of identity, you know? Yeah. And you can, you can see that there's tambour elements to this, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but at the same time that it was worked on by Acrivia, so you see the two DNAs that are, that are here. Yeah, entirely it was, new, it was, it entirely was new caliber developed for sure, for sure. by you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And again, you know, it's uh, if we're talking because I don't know. Sometimes you know, you can go a little more deep. So you're trying to not give that much information. But what is important is the challenge was to do a watch that has the two identity. And again, you have the square here. Remind you a little Louis Vuitton. Yeah. 
You have the back, it's a little more traditional. Sure. And also, it's kind of uh, 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 mixed. But the challenge was also to make sure that you have a movement that it developed, work it well, five minute turbine for the accuracy, I think. You know, we used to having this kind of turbine before, but you know, I wanted to come back to this um, the chronograph and you have the chiming every minute, which is, was never done before. Yeah. Uh, and honestly, it's complex because, you know, it requires a lot of energy. So sure. That's what we did. We had another train of wheel, you know, another independent barrel who element this mechanism and this mechanism is connected to the chronograph, okay, to the cam of the chronograph. And when you enclench, he push, so you don't lose any energy, right? So yeah, it's technically it's very, very, very interesting. It's very interesting. Well, congratulations, awesome stuff. Thank. Really you. appreciate you taking the time. Thank you very uh, much. I'm really excited, and I think as as uh, as are a lot of people about what's to come and uh, any new announcements that come out uh, in 2024. So, thanks again for taking the time with us. Always Thank good you very to see much. You. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you for joining us at Dubai Watch Week. Stay tuned for more upcoming content. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Talk soon. Bye.